changing of the guard as familiar Lib Dem faces give way to the new. They've seen hard times and glory days, but what will their departure mean for the future of the party? The Lib Dems reckon they've got a secret weapon in any general election campaign. It's called incumbency. In short, once they get in, it's really tough to get them out again. They work the patch hard and they become familiar faces around the place. But with more than 10% of their MPs standing down and having been in coalition, will it still work in 2015? Big names standing down is going to have a real impact on the Lib Dems at the next election because essentially they are based on the local relevancy of their MPs. But looking at inheriting seats, with the national polls showing them um, on just 8%, having been in government, they're really going to struggle to hold on to seats, particularly Liberal Democrat Labour seats, um, where Labour can really play that anti-government card. If those figures hold true for the next election, they could lose more than 30 seats. There are also concerns about the big names who have been the face of unpopular policies. But being a minister, even the axe man, does have its benefits. I think someone like Danny Alexander, he's well aware of the, uh, the difficulties that come from being the man who's in charge of the public purse strings. So he's making sure that there are uh, nice little sweeteners going the way of, uh, of his constituents in Scotland, all very justified, I'm sure, but he's certainly being uh, careful to play that, play that game well. And even those who are standing down think that, big picture, the Lib Dems' time in office has brought benefits, even if not at the ballot box. We all know that, that um, government is a process of compromise, particularly in the coalition government, but at the same time, you do get things done, which you have been trying to do for many, many years. You are able to keep those promises to your electorate, which you've made year after year. And let me tell you that if you've got the choice, um, then being in government enables you to deliver in a way which you will never do in opposition. You can talk a lot, you can cry from the rooftops, but you can't actually get things done. So, could the Lib Dems' best hope lie in being out and proud about their time in office and sticking the coalition out? You know, I don't see how you could easily have Nick Clegg resign as Deputy Prime Minister and Vince Cable resign as Business Secretary for just a few months and kind of wash our hands of the coalition and say, well, sorry about the last four years, nine months, guys. We didn't quite mean all of uh, what we did then, but for the next three, year, three months, we'll be authentic Lib Dems. I don't think the public will buy it. 2015 will be new territory for everyone, but it could be toughest for the Lib Dems. Their hope will be that locally and nationally, at least some of the achievements of their past will still be standing the day after we next go to the polls.